Skip the drama, stay with mama, mother knows best. Yep, I spent all my winter break learning that song. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cory Griffiths, and this is a DIY talk show. The show where I make stuff and I talk to you guys and I try to make a laugh even though I usually fade out the process. So, let's talk about phones. Where's my phone? Phones are awesome. Phones are great. You smart. You loyal. You grateful. I appreciate that. But we need to protect them. But it's very hard to get phones that are cute and protective at the same time. Apparently you can get the best of both worlds. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make 11 cases. Out of one. Case. So let's just jump into the DIY. First, this is your phone. Your baby, if you will. But it's naked. It needs protection. It's very important. If it doesn't have protection, you may drop it. If you drop it, it may crack. If it cracks, you cry. If you cry, you grieve. If you grieve, you'll suffer. If you suffer, you'll die. Okay, 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 I'm getting out of track. But it does need protection, so order some online. If you are either broke or cheap like me, you buy a transparent case. Why? Because there's so many things to do to them to spice them all the time without actually compromising the case. I got this case on eBay for only one dollar. One dollar! And I hate it. It's a two-piece case that covers both the front and the back of the phone, but it has these annoying dots all over them on both the front and the back and it's annoying to watch YouTube videos. But since I'm broke and I only order one transparent case, I'm going to have to use this. So I'll show you how to spice your case, but it will not be like that tutorial on YouTube that everyone has. Like, oh, just take the case, trace it, and then place the picture, and that's it. No. No, no, no. Not exactly. Kind of. But not exactly. But you do need a template for this. Most cases, when you buy them new, come with this cardboard insert. This is the perfect size to put inside your case. However, if your case sadly did not come with the cardboard insert, just trace your case around a piece of paper and cut it inside the lines. This won't be as accurate as a cardboard insert, but will come close enough. So we're going to start with the easiest way to give a little spice to your phone case. One way is to print image on paper and trace a template around them so they will fit your case. You could even cut the background like this so some of the phone case will peek and look like those store-bought cases. Another way is that if you have sticker albums, like this one, you are more likely to have doubles of some stickers. So just find one that you want on your case and place it on the phone and bam, a simple yet cool case. And if you have several stickers, you can just change them whenever you want. You could even have one per day. Who is calling? Oh, it was an email. Now let's make some actual inserts for the case. What I mean with this is that this inserts will go on the inside of the phone case rather than on the outside because we are also going to have designs to go on the outside of the case. Let's start with acetate. If you don't know what acetate is, it's basically an A4 sheet of paper, but it's not paper, it's a transparent film. So cut three pieces with your template on the acetate because we're going to do three different designs on them. For the first one, we will use temporary tattoos. I hate using temporary tattoos because they rub off of your skin after a while and that's honestly very sad to me. My best friend gave me a bunch of these bubble gums of minions and inside each piece it comes with a temporary tattoo. So instead of putting it on my skin and it dying for a while, I'm going to immortalize it forever or until I buy a bigger bone, you know, like the iPhone 8 is probably around the corner. Damn you, Apple! So, all temporary tattoos are different. Some require for them to be wet. For mine, you just simply unstick the backing, press firmly with the nail and remove it. It all depends on the type of yours. So create any design you want and BAM! A super cool case in a matter of second. And best of all, your tattoos will last forever. The second design is that if you have an image that you really like already printed, but you cannot stick it to your case because it's not printed on sticker paper, like this artwork from the checklist of some line bags that I collect. So we are going to turn them into stickers. First, get some wax paper. Then, cut the pieces that you want to turn into stickers. I cut all of this. Then place the pictures that you want to turn them into stickers on the top of the wax paper. And take a strip of clear tape and place them over both the cutouts and the wax paper. Make sure to smooth the tape as you go so there won't be any creases on your future stickers. Now take your scissors and cut the images leaving a small but decent border on the sides of the image to officially turn them into stickers. So it's a little bit hard to remove the tape from the wax paper. So just take your time and eventually they will separate. Once you peel them, you can start arranging them however you like on the acid 
hesitate to make your very own design. And presto, another design in a matter of minutes. The last design is that if you are okay with sticking your stickers forever in a place, you could do the same of the temporary tattoo, but with stickers. Now, if you're someone like me, that stickers are precious to you. My precious and you can't bear to see them go to waste, all you need to do is to trace your template onto wax paper, then cut it out and stick your stickers there. This will let you peel them on and off without getting rid of the sticky layer on the back and you can reuse them over and over again or until you decide where to actually stick them forever. Forever. What if I told you there was a way to have glitter on your phone without it either being too messy or expensive? Yeah. All you need is a Ziploc bag. In my case, I'm using a snack Ziploc bag. But if you have a bigger iPhone or a Galaxy, I would recommend you to get a sandwich bag or even one of those freezer bags. And some glitter. And you can actually use multiple colors of glitter. An iron and finally wax paper. First, take a piece of wax paper and fold it in half and set it aside. Then take the bag and pour in the glitter that you choose and start spreading it around the bag until you find a position you like for it. Then place the bag between the two parts of the wax paper like so with your iron with no steam or water mm -mm. forbidden iron on top of the wax paper for a few minutes until the plastic melts together wait a little bit until it cools down and boom chakalakala is that four chakalakalakalas what the fuck glitter plastic Sort of. All that's left to do is to trace and cut the template on the glitter sheet. Yeah, I know the plastic is not 100 completely percent sure, whatever, transparent, but I actually like how it turned out. You can actually repeat all of these steps, but instead of using glitter, how about we use some, um, bird sequin? Yes, please. And just like that, you can make several different cases and change them whenever you want. Finally, I was saving the best for the last. How about some designs to have on the outside of your case? All we need to do is to get ourselves some double-sided tape that's strong hold or fashion tape. In my case, I use fashion tape just because I feel like it has a stronger hold than double-sided tape, but you can try your luck with both of them. You can use pom-pom and then stick a small piece of fashion tape at the back. Peel it off and place it on your case and repeat as many times as you like. I mean, this looks so cute! Try using fake embellishment flowers instead. Just cut the flower, leave a little piece of the stem, and use the stem to stick the tape there so it will adhere to the case. Or how about googly eyes? The phone looks like it's alive! Alive! Finally, you can stick some foam sheet stickers on the case. There are so many different types to choose from, you can constantly change them. And best of all, this last few designs is that they're super easy to remove and change whenever you need to. A tip for you is to use rubbing alcohol on the back of your phone case whenever you want to change them to get rid of any residue or oil that might be there to prevent the tape from sticking. So if you do that, it's actually going to adhere so much better. And the best of all is that with all of these designs, you can layer them and have so many different designs all the time. So that's everything I could come up with, guys. I really hope you like these designs because I actually really like them and I have used some of them. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, I love you. Comment down below any ideas you may have for a future video. You can follow me on my social media that will be listed down below. If you make any of these cases or any of my DIYs for that matter, don't forget to tag me with the hashtag CorkyUnbroken so I can browse them and see them and comment and everything. And yeah, don't forget that I'm currently having a giveaway. I'm going to list it down below in the video description. And that's it, guys. i see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Rapunzel knows best. Rapunzel's so mature now. Such a clever grown-up mess. Rapunzel knows best. Fine if you're so sure now. Go look him and give him this. This is why he's here. Don't let him deceive you. Give it to him what you see. Phones are awesome. Okay, I don't want you to know that I was listening to Taylor Swift. Because I hate that. But I feel like my neighbors think that I'm crazy. Your little brown Mexican boy is out. My no, Liza can only do that.